Okay, so hopefully you've watched that scene. Hopefully you know the scene I'm talking about. And I apologize if it's a spoiler if you've never seen this movie. But it doesn't have very much impact to the story at all. It's just a really cool guy being a guy. Macho being macho. Um, you know, just a very interesting take. And it's also kind of... I think there's a lot of commentary that can probably be put in there. But very interesting take on this story here. So... Um, though it has very little to do with the whole story overall, like I said. So think about this. Now, that was, that was about 27, 30, 25 to 30 seconds scene. Not very long, not very short, uh, very poignant. Obviously, in an audience, it would just have a huge effect. I think people in the comments on that YouTube video actually talk about, I remember seeing this in the theaters. I'm not quite that old, but I, they remember seeing it in theaters and everybody just laughing and just, you know, being, you know, just finding it to be a hilarious scene. And it's a lot of silliness, but a lot of seriousness all at the same time in these Indiana Jones movies. And that's part of what makes them so great. Now, think about it for a second. If you're going to make a movie like this and you're dealing with dozens of extras like that, as well as the main two actors, the sequences and all that, you as the film editor, you as the director, the cinematographer, all those different roles, and I don't fully know all the various parts of who does what, to be honest, and I think different films have different people in different roles with different responsibilities, but you've got to tell the cameraman where to be, how you want him to shoot it. Do you want it over the shoulder? Do you want it you know, a medium shot? Do you want it from afar, from close up? What do you want in the picture, in the frame of the picture? Um, so Steven Spielberg was the director of this. The cinematographer was Douglas Slocum, and they knew how to break the action down. They knew what they were doing, and they knew how to order the shots. They actually have to tell people ahead of time. You, know, you have to tell your crew, where are you going to be? What are you going to be doing? How are you going to be going about doing this? So they probably took three or four cutaways. In all honesty, they probably shot this scene from multiple angles. Multiple angles, multiple ways. And then the editor has to actually go in and decide, how do I want to put that shot together in the most logical, cinematic, entertaining way that you can do it? And, you know, they decided, you know, they could have made this a really long, drawn-out sequence, or they could make it quick and done and move on. And they only took about 30 seconds to do this scene, and a lot happens in those, you know, 25 to 30 seconds. So, uh, Michael Kahn was the editor for this, and it's only seven shots. You can actually count them. The first one is Ford running across in a long shot, because you can see where he is. He gets up on the back of the truck. He's trying to find Marion, and so he's in this, he's in Cairo, Egypt, and he's moving across very quickly. It, it's a long shot, because you want to see where he is, where he's moving. He's running around panicking. Then Ford turns and he sees the sword guy off camera. Don't know if this guy ever has a name. We'll just call him sword guy. And you can tell, oh, this guy means business. He's got a sword. You know, I'm, I may be in trouble. Then we get an over-the-shoulder shot of Ford as the sword guy flashes the sword in the background. So you see it from Ford's perspective of the sword guy. Then you get an over-the-shoulder shot from behind of the sword guy, meaningfully shifting the sword from hand to hand. Ford's in the background. Then you get a medium shot, so we're zooming in a little bit more, a little bit more every time. A medium shot of the sword guy, he laughs, you know, he knows Indiana Jones is fixing to be in for some trouble. And then you get a medium shot of Ford, he draws his gun, and if you watch right before that, you can actually see continuity in the action of him starting to pull the gun. And then a long shot as Ford shoots the sword guy casually, and then he turns his back to him and he's like, what a dummy. Now, back to what, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, where's Marion? amazing sequence. It, it plays on lots of different levels. I mean, we're, we're sitting here talking, I'm already talking now for almost four minutes, about a 30 second scene and how it was put together and so forth. But we're trying to show you something. I'm trying to show you scenes like this because I want you to see what the grammar of editing is. And it's one of those things that's kind of hard to describe. It's a verb. It's like we can talk about a sports event but it's a lot more interesting to watch the sporting event and talk about it, to watch the footage and talk about it, as opposed to just talk about it after the fact. And that's kind of what we're trying to do here. Um, I think this list of seven things kind of shows how these different shots put together. I put those in bold for you. Um, 
and just kind of how this goes. So grammar is basic communication. We all know grammar from high school with English and how you know, typically in English we do subject, verb, and then object, and we can put in prepositional phrases and adverbs and all sorts of other things as well. In Latin, which I took in college, it's actually subject, object, verb. So it's a little bit different because you know who's doing who the the action who's doing the action, what the action was done on, and then sometimes because of the way their language is, where the verb is the final thing, that's the surprise. It's you know whereas for a lot of times for us in English it's what the the verb was done to. It's the opposite in Latin. It's kind of a weird way, but grammar affects a lot of things. So we're going to look at several different conventions here. Uh, parallel shooting, match cutting, jump cuts, cross cutting, point of view sequences, cutaways, and cut ins. And I'm actually going to stop the video here so I can start fresh into the next topic.